The bond between a human being and the forest go back a long way. From time immemorial, man has learned more from Mother Nature than he has learned from any institution. A forest is not a human second home. It is his origin, his roots, his beginning, and visiting a forest will always be a man's true homecoming. The sights and sounds of Karnataka is embellished by the greenest of gems. At the heart of Karnataka lies Jagara Valley, or as they call it with Lao, Bhadra. sense of pristine rivers to the piety of thick clouds from the richness of lush backwaters to the selfless pastures of greenery the wholehearted warmth of a cradle called Padra is as close to a man as the embracing of the enchanted breeze on a lonely hilltop Enthralling landscape and climatic conditions makes it a suitable place for a creature that is as beautiful as the forest itself. The legendary animal adorned by golden hair and pitch dark stripes. The animal that has fought for its survival for centuries. The emphatic cat that rules Bhadra with grace, the majestic tiger. Each inch of this natural treasure trove is worth a fortune in the human world, but it is priceless when it comes to human existence itself. Beauty comes with more than its fair share of dangers and threats. Every forest has an enemy and there is no bigger enemy than the human desire. about the untold act of dedication, a gesture that is filled with humility and sacrifices, a silent movement hidden deep within the jungles of Bhadra. Patrolling is one of the easiest ways to keep an eye on the park.
The jeep tracks spanning all across the park enables the forest staff to swiftly cover most of the reserve forest area. Though jeeps are multi-terrain vehicles which can patrol in most of the areas, there are some places that man-made locomotives cannot reach. As the terrain becomes challenging, the patrolling too becomes back-breaking. The protection wholly lies on the foundation of conservation itself. Bhadra rests its hope on one force that keeps it alive. There are some men who are as rooted as the trees that stand tall and grand. These men brave the nearly impossible terrain of Bhadra to protect her richness. They cover 15 kilometers of forest on foot each day. Now, Along the patrolling areas, one can find an imperial spread of bamboo and teak amidst which roam around the prosperous wildlife of Bhadra. Not to mention, each step inside the jungle has to be treaded with caution and care. Govind Raju shares his experience of a close encounter with the tiger. <laughs> Apart from patrolling on foot incessantly around the year, alongside addressing daily trifles and protecting the forest in all possible ways, these people are disconnected from the modern world and are detached from their families for months together. Since it is very hard to navigate and study the intricacies of this massive park, 
for the transferable officers who are posted inside the jungle, it becomes critical to have the people who have immense knowledge about the forest. The forest department hires devoted native people who have known the forests for generations together. Long ago, Bhadra was a part of Jagara, which lied very close to the summer palace of the Maharaja of Mysore. With various memorable incidents at Jagara, it became a place very close to the heart of the warriors. Jagara Valley Wildlife Sanctuary was declared in 1952.